Nicolas Krippendorf es estadounidense. The restaurant business can be very challenging. I discovered a, a place to learn jujitsu. My goal is to be better tomorrow than I was today. Nicholas Krippendorf is a citizen of Boston, originally from Boston. Este vídeo nos muestra escenas de su boda celebrada en un restaurante coreano en Beijing. Todo el evento fue planeado cuidadosamente por el propio Nicolás. Para él y su esposa coreana Cho Su Jin, ese día no solo marcó el comienzo de su feliz vida juntos, sino también nuevas oportunidades de negocios en China. In 2006, the New England Patriots hired me to promote football and their, their team brand in China. And in 2007, they sent me to China to establish fan clubs, build a website. And then in 2008, I met, I met Sujin. In 2011, Suji and I got married in Beijing at a uh, restaurant and banquet uh, center called Ai Jiang Shan, and we planned our own wedding. Okay, off. You done your prayer? Rahul. Okay. Okay. So you guys are one. And the. Owner of the restaurant was there that that day, and was impressed uh, by our wedding. So he asked me to oversee uh, the wedding, his wedding business, and the banquet business. Nicholas 결혼식 때 참석을 해가지고 이 친구가 그 어, 혼자 연출을 하면서 자기 결혼식을 하는 걸 보고. 참이 친구가 아주 재능이 뛰어난 사람이구나. 그래서 그 친구하고 나하고 이렇게 그 친해지면서 이 사람을 잘 관찰해 보니까 한국 음식에도 아주 어, 한국 음식을 잘 이해하고 있고 한국 문화에 대해서도 이해 풍이 굉장히 넓고 그래서 아이 친구로 하여금 우리 그 어, 웨딩 파트를 맡기면은 나보다 더욱 더 크게 발전할 수 있는 사람이라고 생각했기 때문에. 그래서 니콜라스한테 제안을 했습니다. 해줄 수 없느냐고. 그래서 하게 됐습니다. Bajo la dirección de Nicolás, la empresa especializada en organización de bodas fue alcanzando cada vez mayores éxitos. En 2013, Shin le pidió a Nicolás que se hiciera cargo de un nuevo negocio que estaba planeando, un restaurante llamado Chuanzhou que significa creación. Su idea era que Nicolás y Sujin pudieran hacerse cargo del nuevo restaurante juntos. La pareja sabía que sería un trabajo duro ya que tenían que aprender a hacer algo que no tenían experiencia. Inicialmente rechazaron la oferta de Shin, pero finalmente Nicolás accedió a asumir el reto y persuadió a Su Jin para que se uniera a su proyecto. Su Jin y yo oversee the operations and business development for Transoa. The restaurant business it can be very challenging, and 
there's lots of challenges every day. Uh, there's short-term uh, and long-term challenges. We're located in, in the basement in a, in a suburb of Beijing. Our door is uh, very small, so it's hard to see from the, the street. 因为刚开始员工也很少，呃，客人也比较少，然后尼克就没办法，就只能自己去，反正走路去门口发优惠券，有客人拿着优惠券来吃饭。哎，你们怎么雇的一个老外在门口发优惠券啊？我说您跟哪儿看见的？他说在地铁那边，地铁离我们这很远很远啊，三四条街。他跑到那边去发优惠券。我说那是我们老板。Every day I come in and there's something that needs to be done. Uh, or a new problem. So, for instance, at the beginning we came in and the, the gas had broke and there was no gas to cook or the electricity is out or the ice machine is broken. So it's just things like that. Every day there's something new that keeps the job or makes the job interesting. We want to continuously improve our food items, our drink items in our employees. So uh, I spend a lot of time uh, thinking about how we can improve those things. And right now, I'm working with my assistant chef uh, to with on a new recipe, a new natural recipe. So uh, let's see how it goes. It's not perfect, but we're a little bit closer to realizing that excellence that we all pursue this well. Not bad. Good job. Good job. Just do it. Nick is constantly researching. Every day, I'm checking the recipes. Now, what kind of people do you like? 做创作的时候，其实我有好多好多压力，而且是我没有从事过这个行业，管理各方面都很累。然后，我有一次，我深深的跟尼克说，我不知道我这个走的这条路是对还是不对，不知道适不适合我。然后特别累的时候，他就。给我按摩啊什么的，然后呢，那天我真的是一直发脾气发脾气，然后睡着了。然后第二，第二天我凌晨我去上厕所，发现他写一个条，贴在我的洗手间，然后写，首站，你愿意不愿意做？你自己好好想想。如果是你不要做，你可以可以不做，我都支持你。你不工作我都支持你，然后你是我的骄傲。所以我看到那条信，就是我是觉得，我还是要坚持。En marzo de 2014, la serie de televisión surcoreana Mi Amor Venido de las Estrellas se convirtió en un gran éxito en China, debido a que su protagonista le gustaba comer pollo frito acompañado por un par de jarras de cerveza. Esto se convirtió en una opción de cena popular entre los jóvenes chinos. La demanda de pollo frito y cerveza en el restaurante de Nicolás aumentó. 另外，就是干粮食。吃的那个炸鸡啊，还是炒年糕都不错，味道挺正宗的。呃，我觉得这环境不错，挺适合跟闺蜜啊、朋友啊一起坐一坐，聊聊天。那段时间，因为是来这星期的你的原因，可能是好多人都过来，但是其实三四个人来不能光吃炸鸡嘛。那别的菜品是我们一直是不停的研发，所以呢，大家现在认可了，所以呢，不不不只是因为是韩流的原因，呃，大家喜欢这里的菜，而且是。喜欢我们的菜的原因是我和尼克多长时间不睡觉熬夜的那个就是成果嘛，所以我们都觉得没没白累。We're a great team because she's a great tactician. She's great at daily operations, overseeing daily operations. I'm better at、uh, thinking strategically in the long term, trying to figure out、uh, if what we're doing today is going to help us uh, uh, get to where we want to be in six months or a year or three years. So, so I think we're a really good team. 我得走了，没时间。So that to me is very fun. Nicolas y Su Jin viven en un apartamento junto al tercer anillo de circunvalación de Beijing. Su Jin, campeona del concurso de aeróbicos en Corea del Sur, vino a China para fundar el primer equipo oficial de porristas de la Asociación de Baloncesto de China. Fue directora de la escuadra de porristas para la competición de baloncesto en los Juegos Olímpicos de Beijing 
e incluso fundó su propia compañía de animación con presentación de porristas. Pero ahora, sin embargo, su principal enfoque es supervisar la operación y desarrollo del restaurante junto con Nicolás. Nicolás no habla coreano y Su Jin no habla inglés. Ellos siempre han utilizado el idioma chino para comunicarse y a veces para discutir. Yo, Por la noche, Nicolás practica el jiu-jitsu brasileño, un tipo de arte marcial mientras Su Jin cocina en casa. Debido a que ahora está mucho más ocupado que antes, Nicolás ha tenido que renunciar a muchas de sus aficiones en los últimos años, pero eso no ha ocurrido con sus prácticas de jiu-jitsu brasileño. Chiro 结婚了然后离婚了他说我是脾气稍微快一点但是呢觉得两个人很互补所以我们结婚了一个小时从十分一到这一个小时所以你别找出来没有结束过吗昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天晚上到的昨天
where um, there were world champions training and a, and a world champion teacher. So uh, I discovered a, a place to learn jujitsu, and the jujitsu teacher is, is excellent. His name's Chet Quinn, and he's a great teacher as well as a great practitioner. So I started training training jujitsu. So I'm headed to my jujitsu class tonight. Um, I need to be careful that I don't forget something. I forgot my belt before. That's kind of embarrassing when you, you show up on the mat without a belt. So, because um, I'm in a rush, I always try to uh, double and triple check everything. So now uh, I'm going to find my pants and my jacket. One of my favorite things about living in Beijing is experiencing all the change. Uh, the restaurants change constantly, the buildings change constantly, the roads change constantly, and um, I can re remember coming back to Beijing after um, having lived in Shanghai and New York for, for about a year altogether. And I was lost. I'd go uh, walk down, um, I'd, I'd go to neighborhoods that I used to hang out in and I'd be lost. I wouldn't know where I was because it was so different. The buildings were all different, the roads were different, subway stations, subway, entire subway lines were there that weren't before. So um, I really enjoy uh, being here to, to witness all the changes. Nick's been with me for um, four or five years and uh, has been training regularly, nonstop. So, uh, he's my friend and my student. Uh, he's been with me for a while and uh, we, we like having him here for sure. He, um, you know, he's strong, like a lot of guys who, uh, who come from a competitive uh, judo background or a wrestling background. They have a, a lot of power, a lot of energy, but um, their technique isn't very polished. So, um, you know, Nick, guys like Nick, who's young and, and, and strong, they have a, a, a different problem than the rest of the world. Their problem is we've got to teach them not to use so much strength. Uh, other people that don't come from that background, we kind of have to teach them to be stronger. But you know, I had to, we had to get him to calm down a little bit so that he can really understand the technique. But um, he has, and uh, he's, he's doing well. He's uh, very calm, very intelligent. One of our Akai classmates showed us uh, an attack last uh, week, and where. Destructing it and trying to figure out different defenses and escapes. We we roll and we spar and, and uh, get beat up a little bit. You go home and you know I feel tired. Sujin, sometimes I have to remind myself to make frames and relax and not to uh, try not to lose my cool. So I enjoy challenging myself physically and uh, yeah, mentally. And jujitsu is a a sport. Uh, martial art that allows you to do that. It's a good balance between um, physical challenges and mental challenges. There's so many different uh, attacks and defenses and escapes. So that to me is very fun.
is uh, Trangzhou unit number two. Uh, we're only as good as our people. Working in China is extremely challenging, but I enjoy working here. Debido al éxito que ha tenido el primer restaurante Chuanzhou, su dueño Shen Jiazhan decidió abrir su segundo establecimiento. Una vez más delegó a Nicolás y Su Jin su gestión. Todos los días después de terminar su trabajo en el primer establecimiento del restaurante Chuanzhou, ellos se dirigen apresuradamente al nuevo restaurante ubicado en la avenida Chaoyang. So this is uh, Trangzhou unit number two. We opened, uh, we, we've been open for less than a month and it's a much different look and feel from unit number one. It's about the same size, but it feels a lot bigger. It's on the first floor, large windows in the front. Uh, we have a, a large bar. The furniture is, uh, the bar furniture is higher, which gives it more energy and uh, I think it's really cool. Charlie, Chuanzhou is a yao to is a young So I just conducted the second interview with one of our uh, future, hopefully future employees. And we launched it in, uh, in November of 2013 and we've already opened a second location. We're growing very quickly and that's also very challenging. So for me, the number one priority is hiring good people. Uh, we're only as good as our, our people. So we spend a lot of time searching for the right people. In, we define the right person as someone who is willing and able to learn. Um, those are the types of people that we, we search for. Nicolás suele llevar a su personal a otros restaurantes para ver cómo funcionan. Every few months we organize uh, whiskey tasting events, wine tasting events, uh, events like uh, the one today uh, to uh, give our employees the opportunity to learn more about the products they're selling and to help them gain knowledge and develop skills to better serve the customers. Uh, there's so much to learn and there's so much changing in the restaurant business, especially in China. Things uh, are developing very quickly so it's important uh, that all of, all of our employees have a, a passion for their job and uh, are able to learn. So we try to organize uh, events regularly to give them opportunities to develop those skills. I think it's great because I also get an opportunity to learn. Whiskey, 
就是一种新鲜的方法去尝我们可能会想不到那些东西。宾客也经常会领我们去一些酒吧呀，呃，一些呃餐厅之类的，就是想尝一下别人家的菜跟我们家的菜有什么不同，别人家的酒跟我们家的酒有什么不同，就是想让我们学一些新鲜的东西，想让我们越来越好。Very good, very good appearance, very good balance, a little bit sweet. Um, alcohol is not very strong, but you can taste it. Very good, very good. Aunque la gestión de los dos restaurantes ocupa cada vez una parte más importante de su tiempo, Nicolás está todavía a cargo de la organización de bodas de la compañía Ai Chan Shan. Hoy se encuentra en una de las oficinas de la compañía para hablar y planificar una próxima boda. Nick, this person, ah, too intimate, intimate. You can imagine that one is, is, um, American, ah, to go to that retail market. 要进一些酒哈、啊、烟啊、糖啊这种小事儿，他去批发市场嘛，他也挺有意思的，然后跟人去砍价，哎、呃、呦，比我们还会砍。我们工作上面，一刻是真的很细，有时候我都觉得他特别累，一句话我都能把他交代清楚的是啥，他会先要论证，再要什么做表格，但是他能保证每个工作都是不会出现失误。都说外国人在中国不方便啊，就有很多这样那样的问题。一个外国人在北京能工作蛮成功的啊。我觉得这跟他的一个细致啊，一个细腻的一个个性是脱离不开的，而且他是一个特别顾家的人。我也希望他能跟赵老师永远和和美美，希望他在北京能过得更好一些。Nicolás ha contratado a una persona para cuidar los restaurantes ya que necesita supervisar la boda de hoy. Él verificó todos los detalles personalmente. Ha decidido hacer todo lo posible para que la feliz pareja tenga una boda perfecta. When I see my team planning a wedding, I feel very proud because this is a team I built myself, I trained myself. I think the last few years have been pretty good. I met Su Jin in Beijing. I married her because I love her. I love being with her. We complement each other. If I thought I was perfect, I wouldn't need her. Now I'm working for a great organization and I've been able to leverage my skills and experiences to make contributions. To the organization and help grow the business. Working in China is extremely challenging, but I enjoy working here because I enjoy challenges. As Beijing develops, we've developed with it, and、uh, I'm still learning. My goal is to be better tomorrow than I was today.